It's a classic case of serendipity for science, where you go out to do one thing and you stumble on something else. Once we got those first genetic trees, our jaws just dropped a giant snake that, as it turns out, is a staggering five and a half percent genetically different from the anacondas we knew of before. To put this in perspective, we're only 2% different from chimps. So the original purpose of our quest was to look at how oil spills are affecting the wildlife in the Amazon. What we were doing is using the anacondas as an indicator species. We sequenced the green anaconda from across its range, and we showed that they diverged almost 10 million years ago from the standard green anaconda. The lab work is a slog. We did have that eureka moment where once we compiled all of the genetic sequences, and here we are in February 2024, and we're just now publishing the paper. What else is there that's new that might be lost before we even know about it? So you can't help but be kind of, I don't know, impressed by how excited he is by the genetic differences between this anaconda and the species they knew, but also just a reminder of how big the world still is, that something like this is out there undiscovered until now, and even then only discovered by accident.